Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, hello, uh, I am Akane Akuna from Japan. So I'd like to talk about our project on a classification of daily activities based on the amount of social and physical activity for behavior change toward well-being. It has been studied that physical activity has a positive impact on mental health. On the other hand, and the quality of social relationships with people are thought to affect not only mental health, but also physical health. In addition, social connections with others are thought to be related to the maintenance of physical, psychological, and mental well being. Uh, we like to focus not only on physical activity, but also on the quality of social activities, in which the way we interact with others is one of the factors that affect mental health. So we present a viewpoint of social activities related to the mental aspects of human beings for quality of life and well-being. And we aim to facilitate a self-awareness by classifying daily activities and visualizing both social and physical activities. Let me show related works. So first, a sociometer recognizes face-to-face dialogue with an inferior sensor. And a sociometric watches measured by combining a Bluetooth and the speaker. And a further person perspective uh, uses a further person view videos to calculate the other person's line of sight from the position and orientation of the other person's face. And uh, we use our uh, previous previous project about the face counter. Uh, we detect the surrounding face and measure the amount of social activity. It uses face numbers, proximity, and time continuity. Uh, I think it's easy to use uh, because it uh, it don't it uh, doesn't need a speaker. So although uh, it's easy to use. So a method for, a method for recording both physical and social activity in life load by using two wearable devices, a pendant type face counter, and fit with versus smartwatch. Calorie expenditure is estimated based on the person's uh, versus metabolic rate and other factors, including the height, weight, age, and gender. It also includes calories burned while at rest. This means that even when you are asleep or not moving, uh, your body burns calories. So when you wake up, the device displays the calories burned, and this number increases uh, throughout the day. In other words, the minimum amount of calories burned is not zero. So we use this physical activity. And uh, we mapped the, the uh, physical and social activities to a two-dimensional plane. The amount of physical activity and social activity were plotted on a two-dimensional plane for each 10 minutes daily activity. The horizontal and vertical axis of the two-dimensional plane are the physical and social activity levels, respectively, where the 
physical and the social activity amounts are uh, transformed to a uh, range from one to the one to ten. We mapped to a value between the maximum and minimum values for the person. We gathered data on eight types of daily activities from an individual, sharing meals, cooking, attending meetings, observing, working, playing sports, strolling, and moving. The activities were conducted over multiple days by one of the authors with a student, that's me, and uh, each activity was done and measured for 10 minutes. A total of 37 scenes were collected. After theoretical Hierarchical clustering of the daily activities of the author, we plotted the data onto the two dimensional planes based on the amount of physical activity and social activity, measured and analyzed the tendency of each activity. Uh, this is a result of hierarchical clustering. It shows the results of various daily activities. Uh, it shows that the daily activities can be classified into four major categories based on the amount of social and physical activity. We named the four categories groups A, B, C, and D and color coded them as yellow, green is A, red is B, purple is C, and light blue is D. From now, I show uh, experimental results and findings. The daily activities were classified into four groups. Uh, group A is uh, group A, provides a balanced amount of both physical activity and social activity. And group B provides high amount of social activity. Group C provides neither. Group D provides physical activity. Uh, and next is my findings. A poster session at the academic conference is a healthy activity that gives both physical activity and social activity. This is, for example, a, and a next, the groups belonging to the meals, meeting, observation, work, a stroll, and move activities differ according to the level of activity. So having a meal and meeting with people can increase the amount of social activity daily if I interact with them. And next, uh, the, the amount of activity in sharing a meal and meeting where the participant does not actively interact with others is similar to that in cooking and desk work with friends. It gives various options when trying to make up for lack of exercise and social activity. For example, uh, uh, this is my findings. Uh, since playing sports and strolling are similar activities, so I'd like to increase the time for strolling. This is because I'm not good at the sports and I prefer strolling more. Next, uh, we measured the daily activities of a group of people. Three people participated 
Perzi conducted and measured four types of activity together for 10 minutes per activity. A total of six scenes were collected. A data are all recorded on the same day. A work is setting before poster session and a tour poster session. A tour is a observation is a poster session and a visit exhibition, a move university campus and walk to car. And meals are all the food with laboratory members and second half meal at this course with laboratory members. This is a result. The position where the activities of the three people are mapped has a difference in same group, group in same activity groups. It changes depending on how people interact with others and how people exercise. Next, we measured both physical and social activities to visualize the transition of daily activities of our students throughout the half day. We believe that there is an appropriate amount of activity and activity reason for each individual. And that the way we, we spend our days differs depending on our occupation, gender, and age. In addition to the goal of increasing the amount of activity, we would like to enable users to act with the goal of achieving a good balance between mental and physical activity. We would like to suggest the next activity that is good for the user's mental and physical health based on the user's transition and current state throughout the day and lead, lead to beha behavior changes that improve satisfaction and fatigue. And let me conclude my talk. Uh, we presented a viewpoint of social activities related to the mental aspects of human beings for quality of life and well-being. And we aim to facilitate the self-awareness by classifying daily activities and visualizing both social and physical activities. Thank you so much.